Here are the five community team members, a team that is growing very quickly, but currently there are five and their goal is no comment left behind. Every comment will get an answer and we want to start a 24-7 live stream to give you real-time responses to your questions. So the first member starts with an A and that is Ashley Silverdust. She is the first female member of the community team and we hope to have more. And we also have All Games Must Die, as you know, he is the leader of the community team and who started this entire movement. That's the A. Now, there is one more A, but he actually goes by O, and that is Alexander Obitz. Obitz is a member of the community team, and you've already seen the Ask Obitz show. Didn't see it? Click that I up there. That'll take you to his very first Ask Obitz episode here on Freedom Central. So those are the A's. Now there was an M that sounded like a drink, and that is Milk Box or Super Milk Box. Welcome to the community team, Milk Box. You have been like the right hand man for All Games Must Die. You're awesome and you rock. And there was also a V. And who's the V? The V is Valorize. There we go. And there's another member here, uh, IBYM Gaming, who's given a very helpful response to a good question. So he may be a future member of the community team. But Valorize, if you don't know who he is, click that I. He also created a video right here on Freedom Central introducing himself to the Freedom family. Go watch that, please, if you haven't already, and get to meet Valorize. Now let's actually look at some of these comments that these community team members left. The whole goal of the community team is to create a conversation, leave meaningful feedback, not just, hey, I love your channel, but actually give suggestions, links to tools, answer questions, help channels get invitations, for example. EFD eight hours ago asked, is there a different way I can work for freedom besides the community team? And Ashley left a very helpful response. She actually sent a direct message to him through YouTube with a link that she thinks he will find helpful. So you can see it's a very thoughtful reply that actually included another reply. All Games Must Die was having a conversation about Kana with Lord KM YouTube. He was talking about how he has now learned 500 words in this Japanese language and he can speak basic sentences. Now, All Games Must Die is fluent already in Spanish and English and he's learning Kana. Thank you for sharing that with Lord KM Tube, All Games Must Die. Looking at Super Milk Box. He replied to a comment 18 hours ago that Holy Sampai Waffle Lord said he applied and has been accepted into the network, but he has yet to receive the invitation in the dashboard. So Super Milk Box said, your request has been logged. You should get an invitation soon. If there is a problem, we will get back to you. Again, this is what the community team does, provide answers and fixes problems, not just thumbs up, you rock comments. Let's look at what Valorize said. Here's an example of a, ah, oh, sorry, Obits. Here's an example of what Obits replied to Zaxter Z, who said, so it has begun. Now to wait for the rest of them to upload. This is talking about the Meet Valorize video that I mentioned earlier in this episode. And Alexander Obix said, yes, but the idea is that you guys should guess all the members, and I have to tell you, there are more than three. Again, he's engaging in conversation. He's creating uh, a thread. So this is like a forum, I would say, not just YouTube comments. And uh, the reason I say it's a forum is, look, 72 replies. So this particular comment, which is actually my comment, got 72 replies. It's more than a forum normally gets on a post. OK, let's continue. So Valorize, he replied very uh, well to Josie Rodriguez who was asking about editing software. She said she still has a lot of trouble editing her videos and feels that we need more apps to help with ideas for challenges and tags YouTubers want to do. And Valorize said that is great to hear. You have some amazing ideas and we are actually looking for some female members to balance it out and hopefully get a female content creator. So Josie, if you're interested in joining the team, 
please let Valorize know. And Ashley, of course, is our first female community team member to add a little of that woman's perspective to comment. So it's not just us guys talking to all of you, Freedom Family. And IBYM Gaming also replied with a very helpful tip that uh, Lightworks is a useful video editor that's free. And we have an, a video on Freedom Central. Click that eye right there to see it that talks about Lightworks and how to use it. So if you're looking for a good free video editing tool, try it out. I recommend it. And I want to leave this video with a clip from All Games Must Die. He made a video, Thank You Freedom, on his own YouTube channel. And all the links to the community team members' channels are down there in the comments below. So if you want to check out Ashley or Milkbox or Hobbits or Vape, uh, Valorize or All Games Must Die, you can look at uh, the description of this video. And I'm going to play this clip because it's my favorite clip after watching his video. Let's listen to it. Roll it. I see my comment and uh, my jaw just drops and I basically just feel like going and I don't know, finding some cave to hide in really. Uh, and that's, that's what I wanted to say that be, care, be careful what you wish for because you know, it can hit you like a sucker punch to the face. So what All Games Must Die was talking about right there was when he first saw his comment featured on The George Show in an email that said, from YouTube to wrestling, or sorry, from wrestling to YouTube. And he was so surprised that this happened to him. He couldn't believe it. And if you want to see the entire video, which is a great video, click the link up there. That eye will take you to his Thank You Freedom video that I encourage everyone to watch if you'd like to get to know All Games Must Die because he shares a lot about his personal experience, his life story in video. Which brings me to the final point of this video. Why don't you create a video of your YouTube story? Thousands of you have shared your YouTube story in the Freedom Dashboard, in the YouTube comments. Now make a video of it. And if you do, send us a link down there in the comments below and we will pick videos like I just picked this one and we will feature them with a clip on the episodes on Freedom Central so that you will get even more exposure. More people will discover you and that's why we want you to make a video that starts like this. Hi, my name is George and I am part of the Freedom family. Freedom has helped me grow by giving me access to music licenses and a lot of cool stuff, including their forums that are really, really great. And here is my YouTube story that I hope you'll enjoy. Now, see what I did there? I, taught, I introduced myself. I introduced that I'm a proud member of the Freedom family. And I said, what I love about Freedom. Of course, you should say what you love about Freedom. Don't repeat my words. And then tell your story. The reason we want to use this format is so people understand who you are, where you're coming from, like who you're working with, and then all about you. So please use that format, send a link to your video down there, and we will feature individual videos showing clips and linking to the full video for people who want to see it, and they'll watch that on your channel. So then they'll more easily become subscribers to you if they like your story in your video. Is that a good idea? Will you do this? Tell me in the comments below. So who am I? I am George, CEO and founder of the Freedom on a T-shirt and Freedom. And some of you have been asking about T-shirts. Where can I buy them? Where does Freedom have a store? Well, we actually do have a store. And all you do to find it is go www.freedom, if I can type, freedom.tm slash shop. The Freedom Shop is actually, <laughs> again, if I can type a dot, the Freedom Shop is actually NETV, because NETV is the name of our company, 
And here you can buy a Freedom t-shirt in black or white, polo or t-shirt. And what I have to apologize for is the price. We are actually not making any money from this price. This is just the price Zazzle charges in order to create these t-shirts so that we don't have any like hassle about shipping. Zazzle does all the shipping, all the production, but it's an expensive product. So we are looking for a cheaper alternative where we can offer this shirt maybe for half the price or hopefully under ten dollars and if you can recommend an online t-shirt store that will be able to sell t-shirts for like $9.99 <laughs> tell me in the comments below because we want people to get the freedom shirt at an affordable price not an expensive one but if you have the money and you really want it, you can get it right now at freedom.tm slash shop. I hope this helps and we'll see you on the next episode of And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.